what can we do to instill some consistency in our farming practices that will help us predict our outcomes. Okay. And the, the no-tilling has just become a no-brainer. Dave Olala from Butte County operates in a land of extremes, where regenerating the soil is an essential part of his thinking. Yeah, and in these conditions, Dave says that no-till is a no-brainer. And we were curious about what got him to change to no-till. Uh, yeah, expense, okay. and time, those two, two big things. And at the same time, it, it was making sense. Uh, quit loosening soil and hold it. And, and so I bought into a lot of those ideas, but the system of soil health is so complex that you need a lot of parts and pieces, but none of them can stand alone. And so I, I bought a no-till drill. And I got a sprayer, but you need them, but they're not, that's not no-tilling. There's all the other parts that go with it. And that's where it takes time to figure that out. Here it is again. It's a system. No-till isn't just about equipment. It truly is one of mindset. And changing one's mindset isn't just like flipping a switch. It takes time and we get that. But Dave said it's a complex yet simple system. How does one unpack that? Well, I think the best way to do that is to get back to basics. We're going to visit with the ARS's Dr. Randy Anderson, who will walk us through his spiral of soil regeneration. See you soon.